All right, so we had uh, talked about uh, using Redux as a means of maintaining state uh, on the client. And, uh, and we started uh, building the, uh, the framework for this on a, in a React application. Let's review that real quick. Uh, we'll, we'll also then review the server side, and then we'll discuss on how they could possibly communicate with one another. Okay? Uh, so for the, for the, on the client side, the React, uh, it's, it lives in its own project, in its own React project that we've been using for the last couple of weeks. Uh, let's revisit what we have so far. Uh, we have uh, in the index, uh, we have um, this um, a React DOM that loads a whiteboard component. The whiteboard component um, is, um, uh, is this uh, a plain old React um, stateful component. It's, uh, it's, um, notice that this is the entry point right here. It uh, declares a couple of routers right, that allows us to navigate between a couple of other sections in the, in the application. Uh, but uh, yesterday we spent uh, some time uh, by, uh, at uh, creating a, a really simple store that uh, provided a, a, uh, an initial state, an initial list of widgets that was then provided to the rest of the application, uh, which then was rendered by a list by a list a widget list container, which then iterated over that uh, and uh, and rendered this uh, simple list over here. Right, um, the 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 reducer is here. Right, this the reducer as I as mentioned earlier is the single point that is going to maintain the state of the application, right? Um, it, uh, it grabs the initial list of widgets as follows, right? It, uh, it uses a, uh, a widget service. It calls the find all widgets, which right now is just doing what? It's just returning this hard-coded list of widgets in a JSON file, yes? So it's a JSON file. Uh, when we call find all widgets, it just returns that one array of widgets, which it's uh, these two widgets, a heading widget, two heading widgets. Okay, right. So, so again, this is a JSON file. The widget service loads it, right, and then it exposes it through this function find all widgets, which returns just the array of those those widgets. Yes, right. That that array is exposed uh, by the by the reducer. Right, and it uses that that list of widgets to initialize its state. Right, widgets is with this widgets here. Right, and uh, and and notice that um, by default, right, the very first time that this loads, right, the the actions there won't be any actions, so it returns the the false state, which is the current list of widgets. Widgets is equal to widgets. Yes, right. Again, that is provided uh, to to the whiteboard through a provider. Right, the provider here uh, grabs the uh, the reducer, grabs that reducer, creates a store out of that reducer, and then provides that store to the rest of the application. In particular, the widget list container. The widget list container is going to receive the the that that this uh, state is going to grab certain things from this state using this mapper. This mapper is going to grab the, 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 the list of widgets in the, in, the, in the state, and it's going to map it into a property called widgets that is declared in our, in our widget list. Right? Where a, li a widget list is expecting the widgets, and then it iterates and, re and, and renders the widgets. That makes sense? Right? Do we need to go over that again? Slow motion? No? Everybody okay? How it follows the, 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 the data flow? Right? The, from the file, to the reducer, to the provider, to the container, to the component. Yes? Yes. Yes. Right. You could have a lower if you have just a small piece that uses re uh, Redux and others don't use Redux. So right now we have a reducer for just widgets. Only reducer, right. Yes. Yeah, you, you would have to create, multi there's, a, there's a function just like this create store, there's a combine reducers. And it takes a, an argument of multiple reducers, giving you one top-level reducer. And then each reducer becomes a namespace, right? which you can then say, well, the reducer in this, uh, you know, for the widgets, for the courses, for the topics, for the, for the modules, each you could have a reducer per uh, you know, data set that you want to maintain. Okay? And we'll play with that. Uh, all right, so let's. Uh, uh, right now, it's uh, it's loading the data from this hard-coded JSON file, right? Right now, from um, 
uh, from this service, right? Right now it's loading it from this JSON file. Really where we want to get it from is where? It's from the server, right? The server has a list of widgets. We need to somehow have this, this uh, here talk to the, uh, to the server, right? So let's, let's go switch over to the server now. 